Hi everybody, how are you all doing? Okay, so I'm definitely not in my living room. This is my bathroom. Um, just the best place I could do this quickly because my computer is reconfigured. So um, this is a church vlog. I don't know why, but for some reason it just, it felt like I'd been away forever. You know, I was just there last week. Just so many things happened and it, it was just very, very lively today, I guess I could say. So, um, <laughs> I didn't feel like I stumbled into church, but I know that I did. Um, and, um, I got some candles. I had to light two outside. Um, and then I did put four inside, um, prayers for people who needed them. If you ever want me to say prayers for you with candles, just let me know. Um, and I will, and I won't even ask what it's about, because it kind of doesn't matter. So, let's see, what else? Our director wasn't there, so the other director was there. Okay. It was a very small group, and at first when I came to church, it was like, not that many people there, but, um, it, it actually swelled really big. <laughs> And it was completely full in the downstairs, practically. Um, and there were people upstairs as well. Um, what can I say about it? The, um, the, the choir did that as well. It was like small when we began and then it got larger. And um, my favorite m male chanter came and he sang so much in Arabic, it was beautiful. And um, one of the other chanters chanted in Greek. During, I don't even remember when Mercy and Grace started, I just realized that I'm still feeling it, so. Um, and I've like already come home eat lunch. <laughs> so it, it's, it's electric, but I just don't even notice it certain today, I guess. Um, that's odd. I actually got called on to chant today, um, but it really took me by surprise. And it was actually during like um, one of my favorites. Uh, and I got scared and I said, no, I can't do it. Um, which like marked the date. Like I seriously spend so much time in my house singing yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So she said, next week. And I'm like, okay. I promise, I promise. I won't ever turn it down again. I'm sorry. No. But I just didn't feel like I could. Because it just took me to my surprise. I don't know. Um, let's see. It was, oh, that was so cute. There was, there was a, a Russian lady who had a little boy with her. And, um, I smiled at her, and then, I guess it was her grandson probably, and uh, he, she was trying to like teach him different things to do and show him where to go and do things. It was just very cute to watch uh, her instructing him. Let's see. I just can't even recall what exactly were the gospel verses or anything. Like one of them was from Matthew, I think. But see, I might be getting it confused because I saw baptism today, so I don't know. Um, it was just over way too fast. And, um, oh, I noticed, and I don't know why they are, so I'm going to have to ask my priest. He was wearing um, a robe that was orangish red, and I don't think I recall seeing that one from before. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Um, I wish I had something substantial to say. It was just all very beautiful, and the, it, it's funny how directors direct differently, because this director, um, she just has a different pacing about it, and things sound more melodic, I guess. So I was really able to focus differently on the melody rather than, um more of the rhythms, I guess. And for some reason, I could more clearly think of and hear my priest's voice, because, like I said last week, it was that other guy. 
um, Father John. So, and he, yeah, he's like on a rotating basis. So, I don't know, I guess, because I was happy to have him back. I was really like focusing on his voice to hear, and he's got such a beautiful voice when he sings. All right, so then I went up and <laughs> at the end, and I kissed the cross, and I talked to my priest, and um, I was getting ready to leave, and then um, my my Ukrainian girlfriend, Donna, um, caught a hold of me, and she said, there's a baptism, are you going to go to it today? And I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't not go, you know, that's a blessing to see one, right? So, um... <laughs> I was staying longer, and uh, while I had some time, there's a young lady who's actually in the choir as well, and she had started making different um, patterns in the sand that we have our candles for um, outside in the narthex for those who had passed. And I really, really like them. She puts, she puts a cross, and then she'll put I see Exy, and then Nika, and then she'll put like three roses, three flowers. So I had asked her if she would show me how to do it, and she did. And it was really interesting because she had just developed this over time, and it was it was very beautiful to watch her do it. I I I did I couldn't ask to tape it though, because it, it was just very beautiful and reverent, and I just didn't want to, you know, do that. If, if I could ever somehow get some picture of it that would do it justice anyways, because I think I tried to in the narthex before and the lighting wasn't well enough to, to, to really be able to see it clearly. So, then <laughs> I went over finally to coffee, which I never drink coffee, and um, <laughs> they had only like Things I don't eat. So somehow I found an, a piece of fruit in the fridge and I ate that, which sufficed for lunch for me. And then we went to the baptism. Now, the baptism was so beautiful. I had seen the churching of this little guy before, and now I got to see his baptism. So it was just too sweet. I really like all of the imagery that's in... Um, in what they say during the baptism. Um, and it's interesting, every time before he begins, um, my priest talks about, you know, why there's the exorcism stuff, and, you know, because people might get it confused, and so he always clarifies it and helps people understand why, and it's interesting. I really like the way he describes it, too. Um, just offers a real beautiful fullness um, to it. And um, doesn't allow those words to be scary to some people who have never heard them before. But even some of the prayers, they have such imagery like crush the head head of dragon. And I don't know, there's just something about, because it's truly an affirmation of, you know, renouncing um, God and all, uh, God, sorry, renouncing devil and all his angels. Or just there's certain things that you say when you say it that are like, Oh yeah, I definitely need to make sure that I'm doing that, you know, renouncing pride or renouncing um, just different things. I, I don't know what they all are. I don't know if I'll be able to find it online. I could probably put some sort of a link or something, maybe, or highlight it or something like that. So I wish I could convey to you the excitement <laughs> because I'm sure this is like nowhere close to how beautiful it was just to try to describe it. He wore, though, it was a white robe while he was doing portions of the baptism and then he took that off and he was just in his black undercloak um, when he was doing the um, the the water where he's like actually dunking the little fella and um, and then he put the white one back on again and this is, you know, everything with it. You know, he's getting christened, and, and we got to see him take his first communion. I mean, it was just everything. Oh, and he got tauntered, the whole deal. It was just so beautiful. <laughs> and I remember that the last time that I had gone to, I think it was a chrismation, that there were certain things that I had even mentioned that, you know, they were like, um, I 
guess sort of declarations that you make like I um and I remember listening to the lady who did them make them and I was like oh I definitely couldn't say that right now so it's good that I'm you know like not getting back to it um but this time when I listened to them they were all definitely things I, I would agree to and would say yeah so I was grateful for that while I was <coughs> excuse me in the hallway chatting with my friend Anna there was a lady who walked up to me and <laughs> she was trying to place my name or my face or whatever it was I don't know she's saying now who are you <laughs> you know Donna introduces me and then she goes, um, now you come here and you sing and you're here all the time, every time. And I'm like, uh-huh. And she goes, and she's like trying to figure out why you're here. Um, cause she, she, she was like, are you married? And I'm like, yeah. And she says, but your husband doesn't come with you. Oh, just only once. So she, then she's like asking my name. So she's finding out my last name. And so she's like trying to figure out like, what are you doing here? She's not saying it that way, but I know it puzzled her. So I explained to her, you know, how I got there and everything. Short story, I promise, I promise. And um, I think it was interesting. It was because the way at first when she started asking me, it was like she really thought I was orthodox already. Ah! <laughs> so that was interesting. Um, but it was cute the way she was trying not to pry. She was just being so... Just trying to figure out what are you doing here exactly and stuff um so then right before I left I did get to talk with my priest and um we were talking about like new classes he's starting and getting an appointment and this and that it's because I do need to chat with him anyways and um Wednesday is gonna start every Wednesday night now at five they're gonna have Paracles. And that is my favorite. I chant that at home when they don't have it or if I can't go because it's that beautiful. Um, I've got it on my phone. I've got it in like a little packet. I found like different versions of it. It is uh, truly it's just one of my absolute heartfelt favorites. I can't express how much it means to me. Um, Anyways, <laughs> I guess I should thank the new subscribers. Thank you for subbing to me. I hope um, I can give you videos that you want. So like anything you want to ask me, let me know. And I'm happy to talk about it if I can. Um, what else was there? Oh, and thanks for the people who've been leaving comments. Um, and yeah. All right, so. I think that's everything <laughs> and I do have a, um, a couple of ideas for some videos coming up this week I hope I can do them and uh, I hope everybody's doing really well I wish you all of our blessings and peace take care